In Julie Moffat's series, No Place Like Rome, 2013, marks the third installment, following the adventures of cybersecurity expert and white hat hacker Lexi Carmichael. Presented from Lexi's perspective, these novels carry a humorous tone and delve into light-hearted subjects, despite addressing serious cybercrime themes. Falling into the cozy mystery category, the series avoids graphic violence. In this particular book, Lexi finds herself unraveling a money laundering scheme linking dubious factions within the Vatican's bank and a family tied to Leonardo da Vinci's estate executor. At 25, Lexi Carmichael is a computer security prodigy, whose mathematical prowess and programming skills have propelled her career from the U.S. government's National Security Agency to her current role as a virtuous hacker at X-Corp, a private intelligence and security firm led by Finn. Though several men, including Finn, are drawn to Lexi, the dynamics of their employer-employee relationship temper any romantic possibilities. While excelling in her professional life, Lexi navigates the complexities of her personal life, complicated by her Asperger's syndrome, which makes decoding social cues challenging. The novel's humor often arises from readers comprehending others' intentions through Lexi's perspective when she doesn't, or from the misunderstandings that ensue. Despite her social challenges, Lexi finds amusement in hindsight when things go awry. The story begins with Lexi's enigmatic friend Slash, a former co-worker and fellow hacker, recruiting her for an investigation trip to Rome. Slash's uncle, the director general of the Vatican Bank, faces allegations of embezzling 18 million euros, vehemently denying any involvement and attributing the breach to external computer compromises. Slash enlists Lexi's impartial perspective to crack the case, acknowledging his own emotional attachment to the matter. Moreover, the assignment offers a luxurious trip to Rome aboard a private jet and opulent accommodations. Lexi finds Slash's behavior puzzling, his frequent displays of affection, including kisses and hugs, and the gesture of leaving roses on her pillow when called away, leave her uncertain. She rationalizes his actions as cultural differences, yet questions his sincerity, especially given his reluctance to divulge his real name. Nonetheless, Italy's demonstrative culture suits Lexi, who finds it easier to connect with Slash's family, particularly his affectionate grandmother. The case gains traction when a bank employee is discovered dead, and Lexi uncovers a heavily encrypted file on his computer. Despite relentless efforts, she and Slash are unable to crack it. Seeking assistance, Lexi summons a team of fellow hackers, including the brilliant Elvis, Xavier, the Zimmerman twins, and her best friend Basha, a proficient Italian translator. Together, they eventually breach the encryption, only to realize that the murder and theft are mere fragments of a larger, bewildering conspiracy. Amidst the investigation, Lexi and Basha navigate Lexi's romantic entanglements. Initially complex with Slash, the situation escalates with the arrival of the Zimmerman twins, as Elvis also harbors feelings for Lexi, complicating their close friendship. In the depths of her thoughts linger Lexi's encounters with Finn, their almost intimate moment cut short by an unexpected interruption from his parents. Unsure which path to choose romantically, Lexi finds herself drawn to Slash in this tale, his allure eclipsing other potential suitors. However, the narrative consistently highlights Lexi's limited knowledge of Slash through a recurring joke, encounters with various acquaintances who know him by different names, none of which are his true identity. Eventually, the clues coalesce, revealing a centuries-old secret with global implications. Their quest leads them to eerie catacombs housing the Melzi family's resting place, linked to the renowned Renaissance figure Francesco Melzi, executor of Leonardo da Vinci's estate. Inside this improbable tomb lies a potential cure for a disease resembling AIDS. However, their exploration is shadowed by Bianca, the villainous mastermind trailing their every move. Determined to prevent them from uncovering the truth, Bianca plants a deadly bomb. Faced with a harrowing decision, Lexi must choose between pursuing the cure or saving her friends from the impending explosion. Opting for the latter, Lexi's bravery results in Bianca's demise as the bomb detonates. The novel concludes with Lexi and Slash convalescing together, where he finally discloses his true name, Romeo. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.